In this video, we'll be taking a look at three college basketball games happening on March 15, 2022. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets. As we provide these videos on a daily basis, I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three college basketball games. After fully watching this video, one more thing before we start, if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive betting picks to take your sports betting journey to the next level, then check out our Patreon in the link down below where we offer anywhere from 2 betting picks a day up to 10 betting picks a day and much more. Now let's get started. St. Bonaventure vs. Colorado The St. Bonaventure Bonnies and Colorado Buffaloes will meet in the first round of the National Invitation Tournament at Boulder, Colorado today. The Bonnies are coming from the Atlantic 10 Conference, where they finished the regular season in fourth place and failed to move further than the quarterfinal in the conference tournament. The Buffaloes will represent the Pac-12 at the National Invitation Tournament. They also ended the regular season in the fourth position and reached the semifinal of the conference tournament. These inter-conference rivals will meet for the the first time, St. Bonaventure comes into this game with a 20-9 record overall and they have gone 11-17 to 1 against the spread. The Bonnies have had a nice season this season but it wasn't enough for the NCAA tournament. The Bonnies have won three of their last five games and in their last game against St. Louis they lost by a point. St. Bonaventure is averaging 70 points while their defense is giving up 66 points per game. On the other side of this matchup is the Colorado Buffaloes who sits with a 21-11 record overall and they have gone 13-7. 17-2 against the spread. Colorado has lost three of their last four games and the only loss came in their last game against Arizona. The defense gave up 82 points and that led to the loss. Colorado is averaging 71 points while their defense is giving up 67 points per game. St. Bonaventure is 1-5 against the spread in their last six games as a road underdog. The over is 6-0 in Colorado's last six games as a home favorite. The under is 5-0 in St. Bonaventure's last five games overall. St. Bonaventure Venture is 1-5 against the spread in their last six games as an underdog. This is a home game for Colorado, but there has to be some concern about how much they even want to be playing this game. St. Bonaventure is going to be motivated for this game, and they are going to find success scoring. I don't trust this Colorado defense, and that will be the difference as the Bonnies get the job done. So the St. Bonaventure to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Colorado has been quite efficient at home lately. The Buffaloes scored 79 plus points in four of the last five games at the Coors Event Center. While they had 80 plus in three of those, St. Bonaventure's games are usually low scoring ones, especially on the road, where the Bonnies have a 2 to 6 over under record. They failed to score more than 68 points in each of the previous seven road games. But if they score around 65 in this one, I think it will be enough to push the total. So over the projected total is our full game total pick. Indiana vs. Wyoming The number 12 Indiana Hoosiers take on fellow number 12 seed Wyoming Cowboys in the first four round of the NCAA tournament on Tuesday night in Dayton. The Hoosiers posted a 20-13 record and a 9-11 mark in Big Ten play. The Cowboys went 25-8 this season and 13-5 in the Mountain West Conference. The winner plays St. Mary's in the first round. Wyoming had to really sweat, but they have their spot in the NCAA tournament locked up. Wyoming comes into this game with a 25-8 record overall and they have won two of their last three games. In the last game against Boys State, Wyoming was competitive most of the game, but they couldn't make the plays late and were defeated by seven points. Wyoming is averaging 73 points while their defense is giving up 65 points per game. On the other side of this matchup is the Indiana Hoosiers who sit with a 20-13 record overall and a run in the Big Ten tournament secured their spot in this tournament. Indiana had wins over Michigan and Illinois before losing to Iowa by three points in the semifinals. As a team, Indiana is averaging 71 points while their defense is giving up 65 points per game. Ike has been strong for Wyoming this season, and if they want to win in success. They are going to need to find a way to slow down him. This game is going to come down to the play of Ike for Wyoming and he is going to find a ton of success in this one. Indiana's biggest issue at times has been the inconsistency of the offense and they are going to have some troubles early in this game scoring. I think still think Indiana finds a way to win the game, but it might be on a last second bucket. Wyoming to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Neither of these teams really pushes the pace with Wyoming ranked 238th in Kempham adjusted tempo and Indiana ranked 184th. 
Look for both offenses to take their time going up and down the floor Tuesday as they try to find the best looks against strong shot defenses. Indiana concedes just 39% from the field, while Wyoming allows just 41.5%. The Hoosiers' top strength is defense, and this is going to be a difficult matchup for Wyoming. They rely on their forward Graham Ike, and he is going to have trouble out dueling Trace Jackson Davis. Also, the Cowboys average nearly 23 three-point attempts per game, however. The Hoosiers are limiting foes to only 32% shooting from deep. In addition, the Hoosiers are not a high-scoring team. They stand 184th overall in adjusted tempo and do not take a whole lot of threes. Wyoming has allowed 68 or fewer points in four consecutive games. The under is also 7-3 in the Cowboys' last 10 games overall. Expect a lot of misses, putting the emphasis on which team can better attack the glass. The under is 4-0 in Indiana's last four games as a neutral site favorite, and that trend will continue Tuesday night. This game will be a defensive battle, so under the projected total, is our full game total pick. Santa Clara vs. Washington State The Washington State Cougars play host to the Santa Clara Broncos on Tuesday night from Friel Court at Beasley Coliseum. This will be a first-round meeting between the four-seed Cougars and five-seeded Broncos, with a likely meeting against the Mustangs up next. These two teams last met in 2019, with Santa Clara grabbing the win. As they look to make it three in a row in the series this go-around, Santa Clara has won three of four and seven of ten as they look to make a run at the National Invitation Tournament title. For Washington State, they closed the season out in strong fashion, winning four in a row before losing to UCLA in the Pac-12 tournament. It remains to be seen how both of these teams will fare and handle the National Invitation Tournament spotlight in this matchup. The Santa Clara Broncos play great ball down the stretch, and they come into this tournament on fire offensively shooting 50.7% from the field and 46.2% from three in their last five games. Santa Clara also loses in the underdog role by an average of just two points. The Washington State Cougars have been hit or miss all season, and they're just 7-12 against the spread at home. Santa Clara had a really good season in the West Coast Conference and actually finished ahead of San Francisco who is in the NCAA tournament in the standings. Washington State finished the season playing well and finished tied for fifth in the Pac-12. So Santa Clara to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. These programs are playing at a quicker pace than most as the Broncos are averaging 72.8 possessions per game while the Cougars are averaging 69.4 possessions per game. Both teams have been scoring the ball extremely well recently as Santa Clara is averaging 88.5 points in their previous four games while Washington State is scoring 79 points in their last five games. Santa Clara's ability to push the pace should prove crucial in this one and will drive up the scoring for both teams. Adding in that Santa Clara has four double-figure scorers and Washington State has one of the most experienced backcourts on the West Coast. This matchup won't be short of points in the slightest. Adding in that defense has seemed to take a back seat in these matchups with limited scouting. The offense will rule the day. Additionally, for Washington State, the over is 5-1-1 to one to one in their last seven games overall, while the over is 4-0 to zero for the Broncos in their last four games overall. Over the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyze. Subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.